Hi, so in the last tutorial, we were calling the Clojure script compiler from hand. And in this tutorial, we are gonna automate the process. In fact, we are going to configure the tool that is going to automate the process for us. Uh, so we are going to use line again um, in order to achieve it, which is one of the two biggest uh, um, building tools in the Clojure world. Uh, the other one is boot. Uh, Linegan, I think, is more similar to Maven, and Boot is more similar to something like Gradle. Um, yeah, I still like Linegan, and it's still the more popular one, so we are going with that one. So, first of all, we are going to delete some stuff that we are not going to need anymore. Uh, the out folder. Uh, in fact, we are going to restructure the whole thing to be more similar to a uh, to a pro uh, closure web. Um, project so we are gonna have resources or in fact even a Java web project uh, and our index is gonna move in there and there's gonna be a JS folder instead of an out and uh, and uh, yeah we need a project CLI uh, CLJ file which is basically what um, Linegan is looking for and there is really no point in writing these yourself so I've assembled like a very basic, uh, very basic one that you can use, and uh, I'll just copy it. But of course, I'm gonna over, gonna uh, explain explain it in detail. But yeah, so um, so let me see. Did I do all those things? Yep, seems so. So this is what a project CLJ file looks like, and um, of course. It's gonna manage dependencies for us. So earlier we were using the char file. Now um, uh, we are gonna pull it from some repository. You can plug in the current versions here. These are the, the most current ones as of this recording. And yeah, of course, line again, it's using plugins to do like non-standard stuff. Um, there's really no way to write code in here. So yeah, that's, you know, you probably know it, from, maybe you know it from Maven, if you're coming from JavaScript, you, there's not really anything like it, I guess. But uh, yeah, and also I've included FigWheel. Um, we are not gonna do the REPL thing anymore. We're going straight to FigWheel, which has a REPL as well. But uh, I think for web, for web uh, frontend, there is really no reason not to use FigWheel at this point. It's just so good. <laughs> uh, yeah. What this will do is it will run, um, it will build the JavaScript when you run line compile, which usually will only compile, you know, uh, the Java. But yeah, that's what the hook, what the hooks is for. And yeah, this is basically the workhouse um, horse, the workhorse. Um, here we have a list uh, of builds. Actually, it's a map. Uh, you should choose a name. This is an arbitrary name um, for every build so you can override it in other profiles uh, more on that in a minute and what we do is provide source uh, the source path where our CLGS files are gonna be located we are still using the old uh, still the old uh, code from the last tutorial <coughs> which really doesn't do much um, and again maybe uh, these properties are already familiar to you they are the same ones we were uh, using, passing to the build function of the compiler earlier, of the Clojure script compiler. So, yeah, um, profiles. So, in line again, you can have different profiles for you know different purposes and change certain properties of the configuration based on the profile. And I suggest you do that uh, from the beginning. And. Um, this is already set up. Uh, again, we chose the name so we can now uh, um, overwrite the properties uh, here or add additional ones like fig wheel. This is basically all you have to do in order to run fig wheel. And yeah, you don't want to have any compiler optimizations for the development and you want to have source maps, which are great. And for, com uh, for productions, we want to use advanced and yeah, other stuff. Um, by the way, dev is like a key that is known to Lanigan, um, which will be enabled by default. Prod is an arbitrary name, you can also name production or you know, whatever. Uh, it doesn't recognize this one. 
And one more thing, in order for clam line clean to work, you need to add uh, the resources public JS. So we uh, chose them here as our target, which means it will there will be a JS folder here, and we, we want to clean it again. Um, yeah, that's just making it work with CLGS as opposed to just uh, regular closure. Okay, this is basically it. Um, let me see here. Uh, yeah, let's uh, run the build once. So the command is line CLGS build once. This will build our project once, and uh, we will see the JS folder here. If all the stuff we can, we can even uh, open it. There you go, and it should print hello world. There you go. With well, actually. Source maps don't work in this for uh, the logging, but let's just uh, throw here. Hey, two one two, and while well, we have to build again, we can also call line compile because of the hook. And now. Now we see like the source maps in action. Um, yeah, it's pretty great. So, of course, FigWheel. So, FigWheel is the interactive development um, um, plugin. Well, it just enables interactive development for ClojureScript. You absolutely want to have it in pretty much any circumstance. And um, again, it's already configured. There's actually not too much. You need the plugin, and you need the you need to set the key on the development build, and uh, it yeah takes a little bit longer. It, by default, it runs on this port, and compiling. Oh, there we go, and we are. Back again, we have the source maps again, and we have the REPL again, if you remember. Again, this is a browser REPL. Well, oh, I forgot. You see, that's what our rep is for. So there we go. Plus one, two, and we can do call the alert on the window. Say, hey, and there it is. It's an actual browser REPL and we have source maps and it's working and of course we can edit our code and I don't know maybe make it a multiplication or maybe make it more exclamation marks and it will do those things which is amazing and um, now uh, of course you still want to do a production build and uh, we will run the with profile prod, the name we chose earlier, and we will do a clean first, uh, also demonstrate that this is working, and then we gonna run compile. So let's do this. There we go. Of course, this is gonna take a little bit longer because of the optimizations, the tree shaking that is going on. We can also take a look at the uh, main JS file again, which is of course minified and reasonably small. Oh, there we go. So we can once again open the index file and we still have our hello world. This time it's a main JS so there is no more you know no more source maps and the whole thing is minified and I guess reasonably small for what it is. So yeah uh, this concludes our Line again, uh, closure script automation tutorial, and in the next tutorial we are going to build a to-do list. <laughs> no, we are not gonna do that. We are not gonna write any more to-do apps. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have fun with closure script and with Figwheel, and uh, see you soon.